Do you have like a light in the corner of your, you know, it's like real light and then when you record, is it... Uh, the, 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 um, is it cracked? Yeah, camera broke at one point, right by the, right by the, um, what you call, right by the camera. I'm trying to fit it in there. Okay, so all we're doing is taking those chords that you were doing last time with the bar and then getting rid of the first string. You get rid of the first string by taking your ring finger just sort of touching the first string. So if you do happen to hit it, your ring is there touching it, it doesn't make any sound. You can go, that doesn't make any noise. So it simplifies the chords a tiny bit. The minor seven looks like that, strum that. See, I'm touching that string the whole time I do it. That way if I do go past it, it doesn't make any noise. And then so that makes the D minor seventh really easy. You don't need a bar. All you do is lift up your middle and move it to the third string. Make sure you can hit it, still hear the second string. Strum from four down to three and two. Then lift up your middle, put your ring on the sixth string. You don't need your pinky because we're not gonna hit the first string. And then lift up your pointer. And those are really pretty simplified versions of those chords that you don't have to worry about getting every note. and get that rhythmic, just count one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. So you're gonna go like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm just really watching the bass strings. So I'm doing fifth string, fourth string, sixth string, sixth string. That was one, two, three, one, two, Four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, which is one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And do some of the bands. So if I just take the two highest notes on the second and third string, which is eight on the second, and three on the, or I'm sorry, seven on the third, eight on the second, seven on the third, and go back and forth. And different places every time. Or take the two lowest notes on those same two strings, five and five. Do it bad. Mix some of those. Here's a roll on the fourth and third. Here's a roll on the second, third. Roll on the first and second highs. Roll on the first and second lows. All that's going 
going on in the background is that simplified version of this. Just arch that right there, really try and get your thumb low and that'll make it easier. Trying to get the second string there.
Cool. That makes sense? Yeah, let me just try it again. Three times. And then switch over to your middle finger. Bring, keep your thumb down low on the neck so it doesn't meet out the second string. And you'll get it. It's all good. Hmm? So we're just going to simplify it now so you can do this. Try it again. Because you're getting a full chord if you do all that. So A minor 7th. And go to the, just move your middle finger to the 3rd string. Mute the 1st string. Don't hit the 5th string. Yeah, that's it. That was 6 times. We tried to do it 5 times. Cool. Beautiful. Now lift up your middle finger and put your ring on the 6th string, 3rd fret. Strum all 5 strings.
there aside from what we're doing, but not much. Lots of rolls. Thank you. 